talking about the markets, there are also some challenging conditions in, in the markets at this time. What is your picture of, of the pricing at the moment? The electricity prices are moderate. In, in a long-term perspective, they, they are lower than they have been, and um, it is a challenging market. But for Statcraft, we are, we are doing reasonably well. We have secured long-term contracts uh, uh, many years ahead for half the production in the Nordic region, uh, and we are able to co co cope well with the market that, that we have. So um, I'm quite optimistic when uh, I look on, on, on the outlook for the earnings. But what about the risks that are connected to uh, supplying so much new renewable energy into the markets and the, and the risk then for oversupply? There will be a long period ahead of us where there will be pressure on prices with more renewable energy com uh, coming into the market and closures of coal-fired plants, gas-fired plants and nuclear capacity. But in Statkraft we are well positioned. We have a lot of renewable energy in our portfolio and only two modern gas-fired plants in Germany and 50% in Norway in, in our portfolio here. There have been so many radical changes in the markets the recent years. Now, what do you expect in five years from now? In the next five years, I would expect uh, the European market situation to be challenging, as we have seen over the last years now, combined with the good growth in several other parts of the world. At this, in the same time period, we will see unexpected things to happen that we don't yet know. If we look back the last five years, we had a financial crisis in several parts of the world, a nuclear accident in Japan that led to closures of capacity in Germany. Uh, there has been a revolution in photovoltaic technology and so on. I think uh, we will see also major unexpected uh, things to happen in the years to come. You've also done an interesting thing. You've uh, involved a young guy following you as yeah, yeah. a leader in order to be inspired by a younger generation. Now, how did that happen? What, what was that? Well, I was asked if I can participate in a training and motivation program for uh, young students who want to become future leaders. So it means that uh, a, a person named the Birger, he was following me when we were opening Ås Fjernvarme and other activities that took place on that particular day. So um, for that one day he was representing me as the CEO of Statkraft in these events. So you could give him some an advice and he maybe gave you some as well. And, and the occasion, as you say, was the opening of Ås Fjernvarme. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, I think I learned equally much from him as he learned from me. And uh, when we were at Ås Fjernvarme, th 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 that was... Uh, a splendid occasion for, for such an event because uh, this project has been, been running very well uh, without any serious accidents on cost, on time, about 145 million kroner invested there. And it adds up to uh, capacity of district heating in Norway now uh, at a total of about one terawatt hour. So it, it is an excellent example of the good work going on in that business area of district heating.